Once upon a time, there was an ending. And we minions searched high and low for a new overlord. We were like fleas without a dog, maggots without a carcass, pimples without a face. And on midwinter's eve, in the town of Nordberg, we found a beginning. My pa says that he was found outside Nordberg's gate. Don't come near me! Snowmen, yuck! Master with no... He destroyed our snowmen! You're a big, mean bully! We'll get you for that! Show magic, master!
and have to be handled by a professional. Maybe they're just overtired. Surrender your magic users, or we will cleanse your whole town if necessary. Well, well, maybe we do have one. Keep together, lads!
overlord, you say? This is the last hope for evil. He's a little short. Whoa. Destroyed an entire legion. Bodies, screams, million carnage. Oh, that is good news. Fire up the dragon! The boy needs a proper evil upbringing. And whilst evil was nurtured in the bowels of the earth, in its absence came the rise of a new age, a new power, and thus began the reign of the glorious empire. Everyone was happy, and those who weren't were killed, enslaved, or had other nasty things done to them. Now it's your time, master. Time to crash the party. Time to crush the empire. Time to bring back the black. Lose the minions of war. Because evil always finds a way. Here he comes. The master? Oh, the master, the master. We'll see. That's correct, Raz. He must be tested, as the beetle is tested by the dung pile. Hello, pile! Those Nordberg winds go right up my nethers, so I'll stay here. Your helmet will allow me to hear and see what you do. an old friend of yours. He's been on ice quite a while. <laughs> Yetis are relatively gentle creatures and extremely hardy. Nature's training dummies. At your current level, you can bash him around for hours and he'll hardly feel a thing. A room quaver. <laughs> Find own pit. Savages, no appreciation. We can. No, keep me a touch. Indelicate, but use your minions to whack that wall of fur. Find a way for your minions to reach the creature. Catch up with him in the hunting grounds. The place is bursting with life force, both hunters and the hunted. You should gather plenty of it to support the minions needed to build your dark tower.
Welcome to the test of life force gathering. Yeah. The fluffy rats! See? Poor fishy! Die! Die, sweaty furball! Now the hunt begins! Show them who's top of the food chain! Those glowing orbs are life force. Gather them and they'll collect in the netherworld, allowing you to summon more minions from the gates. can tunnel out of the netherworld and create minion get their drawn to your evil presence like flies to a festering corpse. Ah. <laughs> Seems the Yeti's rather fond of those disgusting balls of fluff. You'd better find a way of discouraging him. Ah, you can put your training into practice. Make sure you get all the life force in the area. You can replenish your horde from the minion gate, sire. You'll need to harvest all the life force here, sire. you come from? I got a permit from the Empire to hunt on these lands. This is my Yeti. I saw it first. Get lost. <laughs> Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. Force. Hmm. Find a way to get into that area. Run with hunters. 
are the soldiers of the sanctuary, valiant protectors of the sanctuaries and all creatures of magic and nature. Soldiers, stop this savage! Protect the fluffy ones! Terrible elf. Well, that's what happens when you spend too much time hugging things, sire. <laughs> equals minions, and we need as much as we can get! Like our friend has forged a path ahead. Go to the camp and find out what that yeti's up to. Don't forget, we still need a spell stone to give the netherworld a bit of a kick in the pants. Ooh, those elves are magical. I wonder if they've got something knocking about in their sanctuary that would do the trick. Position. 
that place, sire. It's Nordberg, the sleepy, snowy little town that is going to hand you over to the Empire. Quite so gentle anymore. In fact, he looks rather peeved. Magical folk didn't have enough problems of our own with the Empire without the likes of you trying to expunge us. Now, let us away! Set sail for the sanctuary! We should follow them, sire. If only we had the swimming abilities of the Blue Minions. Oh well, looks like we'll have to find another way into this sanctuary of theirs. Red Tree's gone. Looks like someone has been logging this area, Gloom. I wonder why. Magical creatures! We've got a breach, man! Attack! Attack! <laughs> Your mounts won't follow you into certain areas, sire, and like all primitive beasts, these wolves are Hurry up! I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I want you to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy! Uh, are you serious? And you can all come and visit me when I move in, <clears throat> in into my mushroom house. SIC species identity crisis. It's a terrible thing. 
We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands.